do that again. Yeah. And a pleasant good evening to you and yours, and welcome to the Brevard Sports Network. Alan Slaughterzinski, Caleb Brown, and a stranger has rejoined our midst tonight. <laughs> he is none other than uh, my buddy, my broadcast partner with volleyball, and uh, one of these days, maybe my college football show host again. Oh, my Please Lord. welcome once again to the broadcast tonight, Coach DeMarcus Manyfield. Coach, how are you? I'm doing good, bud. How about you guys? I'll tell you what, it's good to be here. We've got the upgraded technology tonight. You'll see all of that throughout the course of the, of the contest tonight. But let's talk about this match tonight. The Oviedo Lions coach come in at 15 and 11. Uh, don't let that record fool you because, first of all, this is a program that under the guidance and tutelage of head coach Jen Doherty, since she's taken over in her 12th year, has won not one but two state volleyball championships. Wow. And secondly, this is a team that very much reminds me of this Vieira team from last year. Yeah. One that gets after everything, plays aggressive, no holds barred. And you know what? They're here as a three seed, which you hardly ever see in volleyball. It's yeah. generally chalk. Yeah, Coach, yeah. this is a very good team Vieira is facing tonight. It is, it is. When I was asking Ariana about them the other day, she told me they are a very, very good team, very sound volleyball team that uh, will we'll get them a good challenge tonight. You know, you look at what this team brings to the table. They have six players over 100 digs. Okay. They have five players with at least 115 kills or more. Mm -hmm. So they're very, very diverse. Mm -hmm. They're well-rounded. And... The issue that teams have against Vieira is they are generally unable to match the deep rotation from Coach Sarah Wayne. In other words, she can go from your daughter, Ari Manyfield, Audia Freckleton, right. all the way up to the Sydney Williams and Matt Carters of the world. This is true. This team can match that. Right, and, and that's, that is a great problem to have. I can tell you yeah. that much. It is a great problem to have when you have depth like that. You know, let's talk about the Hawks and the depth. The other night, that depth shone through. We just mentioned Ari coming out of the right side the other night. Had to play for Haley Beak, who had an right. ankle injury. Uh -huh. We watched Haley warm up. Things seem to be okay. But for the Hawks, a lot of this depends on starting fast and the big four up front in Carter, Williams, Jones, and Beak. Most definitely. When, when all four of those young ladies are, are on their game, Vieira is hard to stop. Right? Yeah. Very hard to stop. But I tell you what, I'm looking for Oviedo to come out and give a great game tonight, right? Yeah. It's going to be a great game. And I think one that's going to test the back line of Vieira, right? It's going to it's gonna test the back line of them for real. Right. All right. As we get set for something here, I think. Not sure what it is. As the student section is here. Caleb, if you would, pan over to the VSPN table. Uh, to, uh, Mikey Schmidt over there is Dan Patrick, I guess. As Vieira gets ready to go here, Maggie Davis will introduce both teams coming up here. And we are going to be ready to go here tonight. Welcome to Vienna High School for the regional tournament competition in the 2022 FHSA Class 6A Girls Volleyball Championship. Now, the other thing, too, Coach, is Vieira may be a one seed right now, but following... They won't be after this match anymore. And the reason for that is because once we get to the final four, everything gets receded. Everything gets receded, most definitely. And the good news is, is that the two best teams in 6A, New Smyrna Beach and Golf Breeze, uh -huh. well, they're playing each other tonight. <laughs> i tell you what, that New Smyrna team, that New Smyrna team is good. They are good. 6A, a gauntlet of a, of a classification coach, you got New Smyrna Golf Breeze Lords. Hold on. National Anthem.
All right. Now, Coach, here's the thing. As we look across 6A, New Smyrna Beach and Golf Breeze are 1 and 2 in Class 6A. One of them are gone tonight. Right. If you're a Hawk fan and you want to host the Final Four, you need St. Thomas to beat Lord's Academy tonight out you of do. Miami. You definitely do. Otherwise, Lord's is the two seed, Vieira the three, and anything after that. Right. As we go down the line up for Oviedo, Coach Darty's in her 12th year as the head girls volleyball coach. She is in her sixth year as the athletic director at Oviedo. Wow. Under her leadership, the volleyball program won the 13 and 18 state championships. In 2018, she was named the National Volleyball Coach of the Year. Wow. And the Florida Dairies Farmers State Volleyball Coach of the Year. The Vieira Hawks are under the guidelines and tutelage of Sarah Wayne. She is the only volleyball coach the program has ever known and, in fact, recently just celebrated career win number, what was it, 200? 200, yeah, yeah. I got to pay attention here. Who is that? Brennan Turner. All right. Everything is right. As we get ready to go, look, he's got a uh, horn over there catching all the candy. Right. As if anybody in this building right. under the age of 18 needs more candy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Most definitely. Coach, how do you see this one going tonight? Buddy, to be honest with you, if I'm, if I'm being honest, we might get your favorite wish of all time. We might get a five-setter. I, I think so. We're busting out the new technology tonight. Let's hope the batteries go right. the distance. This is going to be a war, I it think. It is. Down there on that table is what they're fighting for. Only got 16 people, 17 people watching. It is the 17 most important people in, in yeah, Bard County. Right most now. definitely. That's right. Most definitely. Besides these girls. There's the trophies on your screen. That's what's at stake tonight. For the Hawks, it would be a second regional championship in as many years. And the student section... Gets into it right out of the gate. Merritt Island also in the mix tonight, taking on Wesley Chapel, okay. their 16th regional final appearance in the last 20 years. Woo! Good luck to the Mustangs tonight. Are they at home or are they on the road? They're on the road. They're on the road, okay. Coach Patrick had to give her career record today. So she texted me and asked me what it was. Uh -huh. So I have that. I keep that information for all the coaches. So right. it is 441 and 108. Wow. <clears throat> like when you hear it, you're like, 
Man. <laughs> Rose Galuzzi, welcome. Like I said, everybody watching, you're the most important people right now as we get set to go at the service line. Paige Wisniewski, and we are set for 6A2 regional final volleyball action underway. Williams with the serve received. Nice job by Beak. No ankle problems there. Blocked in front. And this will be one nothing, Oviedo. Good crowd here from Oviedo, too. Yes, there is. Look, a regional, you and Caleb did the regional championships last year for Vieira up at New Smyrna Beach. Wisniewski at the line again. And it's 1-1. One, one. I don't know why the scoreboard's not working. Yeah, I mean, if the scoreboard's not working, then turn it off. Haley Beak to the line, one to one. Good serve, good save. Set, blocked, dug out nicely in front by Mers. And that'll be a kill by Casey Williams. Listen, this has got to be a game. This has got to be a game where Vieira... It's getting all of the serves in, right? You yeah. cannot, this is not a game where you want to be missing serves or anything to that nature. Get them in, don't put them in the net. Allow Vito, allow Vito to, to make the mistakes. Tip backwards, I think that was supposed to go the other way. Set here, this has got to be a free one. It is set by Murr. Beautiful slide kill, but they put it right back into Vieira. What a block in front. This is the young lady to watch there, number yep. two. That is Kylie O'Brien, the 5'10 junior. And oh. she went right up with Matt Carter and blocked her shot. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. No intimidation Got from Oviedo. 2-2, two, two, yep. Okay. All right, thank you, sir. Serving it up is the Lions. And that'll wow. be a kill by Sydney Williams, and Williams will need to start fast, and she does. Make sure it sounds good. To the line is Casey Williams. Good serve, in! Oh, That's an ace! That is an ace. Four to two, Vieira. That student section is going wild, and the Hawks need it. I tell you what, of the football players over there, they'll sleep good at night. It was yeah. a very physical practice today. Was it? Yes, it was. This is going to be a free ball for Vieira. Matt Carter, Mers, Sophia Jones with the kill. And it's 5-2 Vieira. Williams again. Oh. Service error makes Casey it Morgan there. five. Is that Casey Morgan? Yep, Casey Morgan. Why do I 11. keep saying Casey Williams? Because that's what's on my roster. All right, the libero for Oviedo. This is Lily Kamek. And that's an ace for Lily. And it's 5 4. Scoreboard being kept live at the top of the screen. Got to have service received good tonight. Yep. Little floater. Williams saves it. Murs. Nice. Back set. Slide kill. Nobody can stop that one. Carter plays, places that ball where she wants it. Right. I mean, that is a thunderous hit right there. Indeed it is. Six to four. Vieira up. First set. Winner advances to the 6A Final Four. Nice set. And it's out. Good. Great job by Mers. Right. Not to touch that ball. <laughs> That's a fastball belt high at three and two, and she just took a walk. <laughs> Uh, 
And that'll be a kill. 7-5, side out. Vieira, I like the fact that Vieira is making Oviedo play from behind right now. Right. Even if it's just two or three points. Having, making them chase it every That's time. That's right. Chase, chase, chase. At the line, Olivia Clemus. It's just a sophomore. Nice jump serve. Freckleton, Mers. This is peak. Uh oh. That's trouble. This is going to have to go here. Free ball. Free ball, yep. Mers with a set. Sophia Jones with another. And it's 8 5. And this will be Mallory Mers to serve. She goes back to zone four. Midcourt kill. Mers is there. Williams. Peek's got to get it. She does. Oh, hit off the top of the gym. Oh. And too short. And it's 9 5, Hawks. That's the student section chance. There's a net there. That's one of my favorites. Right. Little tap. Beak chases. Jones! Dug out yeah. nicely by Kamek. Freckleton. Mers. Williams. Kill. 10-5. Double them up. There it is. Great environment right now for the Hawks team. That chant, Butterfingers. Butterfingers. Yeah. Mers. Nice block by Williams. Set. Jones. Why not again? Oh, oh what a great dig. pancake there. Yeah, that was fantastic. Looked like a kill to me. Close to a double, but you can do that on the first one. Right. Set by Freckleton. This is Jones. Got to go. Oh, uh, low. That, that was going long. out. She catches a break. Can the Hawks turn it into a point? Freckleton again. Mers. Beak punches it over. Right. Was going the wrong way. The great volley here. Yep. Beer's got to get a point off of this. Jones! Double. That's a double. Yes, indeed. 11 to 5. Took a minute to call that. But it's right. the right call. Definitely was the right call. Yep. And that is a fantastic sign if you're a Vieira fan to win a rally like that. Mers stays at the line. Cross court. Oh, wow. Audia Freckleton. Right. What an athlete. Uh oh. And that's a kill. Great kill there. But you'll take five every time. Must this was 5-5. Five, five. Right. Now it's 11-6. Look like coach is trying to get an explanation on something. Well, she's, she's, I think, let me see, let me see two more rallies, volleys here before I open my mouth. But I think she sees the same thing I do. They're in the offense here. That's a kill. Yep. 11-7. But again, it's from behind. Right. Anna, Cart uh, Anna Cathcart at the line. Coach, this team has just one senior on it. Oh, Vito? Yeah. Wow. Block, wow. but out of bounds by Kylie O'Brien, and it's 11 to 8. They're on a three point run. They are. Cathcart again. Amelia Talbot, Mers, nice set, Williams. I love what Amelia Talbot has done this season for this team. She right. leads the Hawks in digs with 264 now right. coming into this. And I didn't see that coming this year. You know what? Amelia also had played libero for 
um, for Beachway for yeah. Michelle Talbot. Once again, this is something that we can't have, right? No, you cannot, you cannot do that. For every kill, you got to get the serve over you too. You got to. You have to. But going back to Amelia, Amelia has played phenomenal, right, as a, as a libero this year and just kind of piggybacking off of what she had done for Beach Wave also. You know, the Hawks were really looking for that player. That's in. That touched the fingertip. That's a Vieira point. They were really looking for someone to replace Hannah Bradford. Right. Obviously, you can't replace Hannah Bradford. No, Hannah Bradford was the phenomenal. The 2021 Defensive Player of the Year for us. But Amelia Talbot did a heck of a job. She did. Great job this year for, for her on varsity this year with the level of competition that the Hawks have faced this year. Yep. Ace by Williams, and it's 14-9. How'd you get the scoreboard to work? The off and on thing? Off and on, went, went to different tabs, and came back to the scoreboard. Sydney Williams. Ace again. And, you know, I tell you, that it, it may surprise you to learn that two of the top three leaders – and aces for Vieira this year. Matt Carter leads the team, uh -huh. and Sidney Williams is third. Right. Listen, those are your seniors stepping up, taking that leadership role, and saying, hey, we, got, we have unfinished business from last year. Nice job by Mers. Uh-oh. Uh, Talbot, Mers. That's a double. Yeah, that's definitely a double. And it's 15 to 10 on the side out. To the line goes Paige Wisniewski, the junior setter for Coach Darty. Oh, Mers. Carter! Chance to run the offense here. Kamek. Nice job by Williams. Murs, beautiful set. Morgan gets the kill. And you know what's interesting, right? Being on the, the travel club circuit around here in Florida, and it's pretty much the East Coast, right? Now that I'm able to hear Coach talk from Oviedo, I've been around her numerous, numerous times. OVA. Yes, from OVA. Right. Yes. Yeah, she's from OVA. Yeah. Set. And the wow. I don't know how that got over. Oh, wow. Nice punch there by Morgan, and that's it uh -oh. off the rafters, and you'll take it. That's the advantage yep. of being the one seed. Right. Timeout on the floor. You know your gym like nobody else. That's right. Timeout on the floor. We'll step aside. It's 17-10, Hawks. When you pair delicious food with great people, everyone has a good time. At Slow and Low Barbecue, we always have something fun going on. From happy hour to kids' night, there's something for everyone. Come indulge in our tasty barbecue, like our mouth-watering ribs and fresh seafood, or sip on one of our specialty cocktails, or a cold beer from our full bar. At Slow and Low, we guarantee you'll have a memorable time and leave with a full belly. Slow and Low Barbecue, two great locations in Vieira and Cocoa Beach. All right, welcome back here to Vieira High School. Alan Slaughterzinski, Coach Many, and Caleb Brown with you. 17-10, first set, Hawks on top. I want to thank Beachway Volleyball Club for their sponsorship of our season this year. Club Director Michelle Rycroft does an outstanding job, and of course, she's also the head volleyball coach for the O'Galley Commodores. Coach Michelle. She's supposed to be here tonight. Set. Oh. Uh-oh. I'm not sure what happened there, but it's 18 to 10. You said Michelle was supposed to be here tonight? It would be yeah, great to see I heard, her. I heard a rumor. Great serve. What a serve. That, that, that can only come off the left hand of Beak. Right. That's out. 19-10. We'll get one more timeout by Oviedo here. 
I would think if we if the Hawks get the 21 before they score another, I would think coach would take it. Yeah. That's, how that's is good. that not in the net? Whoa. Nice job. Great job from the young ladies there. Matt Carter. Oh, wow. wow. What a dig. Wow. By Kamek. Set by Mers. Casey Morgan. But there to dig it out is Wisniewski. Look at this. And I tell you what, Kylie O'Brien. That's a critical point for them. I don't know if they're going to come back and win this set. Right. But they're looking for something to turn the tide. Right. Listen, that's a heck of a, a, a volley there, right? And these young ladies diving all over the place to get to the ball. Yeah. Vito's here for a fight now. Yeah. The, the score is eight points, but it's not indicative of the fight that, that we've seen in this exactly. first set. Exactly. Oh, that's Pete. dangerous. Nice job by oh. hers. 20. To 11. Kylie O'Brien checks back in as Addie Ims has a seat. And this is Casey Morgan at the line. Everything good? That's, That's out. Long. That's what you can't have. You can't give them points. So Vito's good enough on their own. Yeah, right? <laughs> Kamek. You try to save. This is where they got to make the run. It's got to be a four or five point run if they're going to get back in this set. Williams. This is Jones. Nice job. Off the. That's, That's deep. Long. Woo! 21 12. They co <laughs> Coach gave her a big hug, said, Your arms are this wide. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> But you know what, that's a good coaching point right there, right? These young ladies, of course, feel the pressure of this game. They feel the pressure of this game. Hey, if coach is smiling and able to give me a hug like that to bring my nerves down, we're good. It's interesting to watch Coach Doherty with a team that's got one senior on it. I right. don't think of her wildest imagination. She would have thought that this is where they would be this year. Listen, I mean, but, honestly. I but mean, you think about it, right? We, I know she knows she has talent. Right. But here you are in the regional finals. <clears throat> nice job by Mers. Look at right. Mallory Mers battling at the net. That's in. Twenty-one fourteen, Coach. Ooh, caught that back line. Two, three touchdowns to two here. You're right. This is Olivia Clemus to serve. Freckleton, Mers, what a job by Mers. Freckleton, it's a free one for Oviedo. Out. There you go. 22 14. Mers to the service line. Oh. That's an ace. 23 14. And Oviedo will take their second and final timeout of set number one. Look, the, the, the stated goal for this program right here, Vieira, this year, was always to be to this point plus two more. Right. Winter Haven or bust for this team. Yes. You know, exactly. and then you already know what you're bringing back. And then you get an addition like a Sophia Jones. Right. And the, you know, the play of players who maybe you were expecting one thing from and they turn around and gave, gave you, you something, something yeah. much more right so yeah. you know yes golf breeze or new smyrna beach is gonna be the obstacle here right but Vieira, in my opinion i haven't seen lords but i've seen enough of Vieira to believe they are the second best team in 6a yes most definitely i'll tell you what when we went up and played the tournament in Jacksonville against New Smyrna, I told Ariana and a couple of the girls that were around her at the time, I was like, the difference between, because Bishop Kenny was at the tournament also. Right. And Bishop Kenny gave New Smyrna all they wanted. But the difference was Bishop Kenny wasn't afraid of them. Right. Right. They came into the game 
ready to play. Oh, that's a good now, dig, good dig. They have three common opponents this year. Murs, another one. Set. Uh-oh. And I, I, I think the message in that timeout is set the tone for the next set. Uh-huh. They're doing oh. that. 23-15. Now, one thing I have noticed that if we want to keep an eye on, whenever we've had long volleys, Oviedo has come up with the point in those long volleys. Yep. We've had three of them, and Oviedo's got all three. Yep. No, they, uh, we, we did get one. Oh, we got one. Okay, yep. so it's two to one in that. Sydney Williams. There it is. Right down Stadium Parkway, and it's 24-15, and Sophia Jones will serve for the set. I don't need that. I know it by heart. All of them. Free ball. Run your offense here, Vieira. There it, there is. it is. Beak and set one. The Hawks, 25-15. Back with the second set in just a moment. You're watching FHSAA Class 6A Region 2 finals action here on Brevard Sports. All right, welcome back here. Vieira wins the first set, 25-15, up 1-0. On the floor for the visitors will be Paige Wisniewski, Olivia Klemas, as well as checking in is going to be Lily Kamek. Anna Cathcart is also out there, as well as Ella Maven. And number one is Riley Yarbrough for Vieira. It's going to be Haley B., Casey Morgan, Matt Carter, Mallory Mers, Amelia Talbot, and Sydney Williams here. Sydney Williams, let's start off serving for us. 
as Vieira looking to go up 2-0 early here. Start strong, keep them on their toes, keep them chasing. I'd like to thank the Florida High School Athletic Association. Oh. Be sure to check out the FHSAA at FHSAA.com. And it's one nothing Vieira picking up right where they left off. Exactly. Hope you're digging the fact that uh, we've upgraded everything, like <laughs> all, all the tech. So we're able to do all this stuff now, and I'm so excited. It's like Christmas for you, buddy. Yeah. Oh. Uh -oh. And that'll be two to nothing Hawks. And like we said the last set, keep Oviedo having to chase you. Yep. Williams. They're going after the same person every time. Anna Cathcart Amelia digs it out. Matt Carter there it is. with the kill. 3-0 Vieira. This is probably the best volleyball I've seen them play all year right here. They, I tell you what, last week against... Um, That's I an know. ace. I can't remember the team that they played last first round. Well, I can tell you. Although they dropped the set to them. No, 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 no. No, it was uh, uh, so South Lake. Gotcha. Against South Lake, right? That, I mean, they were lights out last week against South Lake. And they did not drop a set to them. That was my fault. That's a kill. And the yeah. gets on the board in set number two. Riley Yarbrough, four to one. And to the line will go Paige Wisniewski. Yeah, last week against South Lake, people were saying it took South Lake longer to drive here than the match took for 25 minutes. That's always a bummer. Yeah. Great serve. How about Haley Beak? Yeah. I mean, she is good. By the time she's a senior, right. will there be anybody in this county better than her? Listen, that young lady was in a walking boot on Monday because she hurt her ankle on Friday at practice. So to see her still bouncing up off of the ground, demolishing the ball the way she is, that young, young lady's bought in for sure. Incredible. Oh, with an ace. 5-1. Do you know last week, I think it was against South Lake, when, uh, no, was it South Lake? No, it was uh, against Lakeland. You know how the Hawks celebrate an ace. You know, they say, oh, she wasn't ready. Yeah. The, uh, the up ref told him that there was a little bit of excessive celebration there. Wow. <laughs> and Vieira has done the same thing that they Time did out. in set one. They are up five early. Love what I'm seeing. They're playing great. They're playing great. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate that. On the big screen, digging it. <laughs> That's dude's, what is it? You said it's Jersey week, huh? It's Jersey week, yep. So you're seeing, so Hayes Kingston is actually wearing Hayden Kingston's Peach Bowl. UCF jersey. jersey. UCF jersey, yep. yeah. The Scott Frost era there. I'm sure Scott Frost wish he would have made the decision to stay at UCF at this point. Yeah, old Scotty, huh? <laughs> It'd although be, he does have, what, 11 million reasons of yeah, to sit yeah. back and smile. Although he'll be at ESPN soon talking about how this team can win. Right. And that, that always killed me, man. Yeah, buddy. Co-fired coaches sitting on sets talking about how this team could win, and the reason they're sitting there is because theirs couldn't. Dan Mullen is definitely one of them. Haley Beak. Great serve. Great serve. Oh. That's an ace. And Vieira... It makes no difference on the timeout. Right. 8-1. No slow in their roll right now. Matt Carter. You know what this reminds me of? 
what New Smyrna came in here and did to us. Yeah. Right. I tell they, you they, what. They, 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 no matter how good we were, we did not have an answer. They had an, New Smyrna had an answer for everything and more. <laughs> oh. And you know what? You take. You'll take that. Right. You'll take four or five point ones. You never want to see a service error. But if you can get four points out of the girl at the line before you get one, okay. Right. It's Great a nice serve. serve, yeah. Casey there Morgan. And, and and they're one and done, and Vieira's got the serve right back. Right. I mean, it's just perfect. And Casey Morgan to the line. Ah, oh, that, oh. I thought she caught that back line. The ref standing right there, though. 10-3. These are good refs tonight. Yeah, most definitely. Great set of refs here. Yep. I had a set of refs Saturday at Merritt Island. It refused to give me their names. <laughs> <laughs> I said, boy, this is going to be a long afternoon. This has got to go. It, it does. does. Set. That's deep. 11-3. And Vieira just running away with it. Yeah. They got to keep their foot on the gas, though, right? It is the playoffs for a reason. Everybody that's here has definitely earned the right to be there. Oh, yeah, Scott, I'll fix that. You're right. Oh, got it. That's a good point, Scott. Thanks for pointing that out. We got the damn score up. I, huh? I got the scoreboard on the wrong side. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. You, you great, great block there. Mallory Murs and Sydney Williams are working the net together. Fantastic. The count is 13 3, Vieira. Oviedo takes their second time out. Uh, I don't blame them one bit. Wow. One bit. I always like it when people say, and, and you know, some people. Like, we, we always want suggestions on how to get better. Thank you, Scott. I always love those people that go, please tell us what we can do to get better. And then when you tell them, uh -huh. they go, we're, we're good. Right, yeah. We're good. Well, you keep those ideas. Keep those, keep ideas. those to yourself, yeah. right. <laughs> Trust me nuts. Okay. Well, I say, tell me what we need to do. Right. Tell me. You know, and a big reason for these upgrades was I went back and was watching a couple of broadcasts. And I just noticed that our equipment wasn't up to par where it should be. You know, it was difficult for me to watch. And it was difficult for me to watch. I don't, it's, you know, yeah, people are just being polite. Yeah, yeah, There we go. I think we got it now. <laughs> My man. Thanks, Scott. 13-3, Matt Carter, the leading ace getter at the oh. line. That's deep. Matt All right, they'll take that time out. They got to try to work from here, though. Yeah. I mean, this has got to be a four or five-point run. It's got to. They've got to go on a good run. Olivia, Olivia Clements here on the serve. Mers Williams. What a dig by Talbot. Audia Freckleton. Sophia Jones gets the kill. There it is. Fourteen to four. As the Butterfinger champ. Yep. Rains down from the student section. What a serve. That's close to an ace. This has got to go. Nice job, right? Great job. Lady. Heck yeah. Paige was new. Oh, that's Great a kill. 14 5. Great block up front. And a cat cart. Cat. Cat. Cat cart to the line. You know, it's, you know the funny thing. 
about the volleyball, travel volleyball world, and also going to the camps, is you meet a lot of these young ladies out and about. Anna Cathcart was at the uh, University of Florida camp last summer with, uh, with Ariana and also Sophia. And to see how tall this young lady has gotten, number 13 here for Oviedo, and it is good. amazing. She's good. She's really good, yes. Sophia Jones at the line. And as you can imagine, their, their team at the camp did dominate for the whole week. Yeah. <laughs> nice serve. Woo! That's out, though. 15-6. Sophia struggling just a bit from the line. Right. But definitely not at the net. No. That's out. That's their first two points together of the second set. Right. This is Jamie Kapoor. That's, That's three, three in a row. row, yeah. But the good news is Vieira started so fast, right. you never want to give up three in a row. But you're going to face those good teams like this. Right. They can afford it at the moment. This is true. you got to end it. But you got to end it. Got a little trivia for everybody coming up. Uh-oh. Haley Beak. What a dig. Great dig. That was Kamek. Oh, no, check that. That was um, Clemus. Still alive. Clemus sets. That's in. Oh, wow. Wow. You'll I'll take give, it. I take it. I give that ref his, his you know what I'm saying, his props because hey, he was on it the last time when it hit the line. Yeah, that hit the and line. Everybody, yeah. <laughs> I give him, definitely give him his props. He called it out. It must have been out. Sidney Williams. I hear you, coach. Oh, uh-oh. Must be. Must be. Oh. 15-9, the Who? lead. I've definitely gotten my fair share of talking to <laughs> from referees. Nine, sorry. Definitely, especially this year. <laughs> and listen, I think I picked up a 15-yarder last week at, at Melbourne, so, hey, it's all right. <laughs> there wow. It there it is. Boom. There it is. Goodness gracious. Got him doubled up now, Coach. Should be 18 to nine on the board. Oh, I was thinking the same thing, but that Sarah must have thought the same thing too, but Lana told it was right. It's right? Yeah, 17 nine. Well, that's what, that's what was up there. Set. All right, Mers, Williams. Oh, that was a double. Yeah, it sure was. Oh. I'll tell you what, Amelia Talbot almost somehow got that. <laughs> Off the lights in the rafters. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievably quick hands there. Wow. <laughs> Man. As Riley Yarborough, the middle sophomore, goes to the line. <laughs> Man, that ball came down at about 60 mile an hour, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it did. Little tape there, and it'll be an ace. Uh-oh. 17-11, coach. The lead is six. Right. All right. Obviously, the team with the most tournament appearances in Brevard County or the most tournament matches played in Brevard County is Merritt Island. Man, I was about to say, hands down. There are 76 tournament matches played, and they're 49-27 and 27 all Got time. Got it. Uh -huh. However, the trivia question is this. Give it to you after this serve. Sophia. Woo! No, that's Casey oh, Morgan. Casey Morgan with the kill. What team in the state of Florida has won the most volleyball state championships? In the state of Florida? Yep, all time. The, the FHSAA has been playing 
since 1974. <laughs> Monsignor Pace won the first one. What team has won the most? What team has won the most? Matt there it is. Carter. Let's see. Huh. Won the most. 19 to 11. And the Hawks are six points away. Uh, can I use a lifeline? Is it, is it a private school or a public school? <laughs> it's volleyball, so no. it's got to be private, right? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. No. It's private. You got it. Okay. I, I think I know this one. We didn't talk about this. No, you, yeah, we didn't. Who is it? Nope. Not Bishop Moore. But that's a great guess, Caleb. And no, it's not Oviedo. Matt Carter oh, wow. out. Oh. Although Bishop Moore does have six. 19, 13. I want to say maybe St. Thomas. They're not even on the list. Wow. Uh, They're not good at everything. Uh-oh. Oviedo's making a run. Yes, they are. 19-14. Lake Highland Prep is also a good guess. They have six. Okay. But they are not in either. Tampa Prep. Close. Tampa they have 15, but they do not have the most. Tampa prep, huh? Sophia Jones there. I'll give two more guesses. You guys' guesses don't count. Two more guesses in the comments. Set. Oh, she just popped it over. Yeah. Jonesy with the there kill. You there you go. 20 to 14. Do, 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 I'm trying to think. Do, do. Uh, Matt Carter leads the team with 50 aces this year. Woo! And it's 21-14. Nope, 20 to 15. Listen, listen, Michelle Mabel, you so, so close. Who did she say? Cardinal Mooney, but no. Is it Cardinal, Cardinal Newman, you said? Mooney. Mooney no, it's okay. not Cardinal Mooney. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, oh, yeah, Cardinal Mooney. I'm sorry. Yeah. Got it. But you're close. Mm. Very, very close. There and you go. Jonesy again. And it's 21 15. It is Cardinal Gibbons. Gibbons. Wow, how many do they have? 20. Wow. And 45 tournament appearances. Ace! 22-14. I tell you, that's the team that's pretty good at football, too. Their last, <laughs> their last came in 2015. Sneed owns the record with eight consecutive championships. Okay. 22-15. Jonesy again, and that's another kill. 23-14. Sophia Jones lighting it up right now. You're Three right. kills in the last five points. Getting hot at the right time. Mallory Murray. And Merge. Oviedo does not have any timeouts left for this set. Nope. Good kill. Yeah. Ran a great quick right there for a middle. This is exactly where they stopped the last time. It's 23, 15. 16, 16. 16, 16, sorry. Oh, I got 16. Mers, Jonesy oh. from the right side this time. Little switch up there, and that'll be a kill. All right, 23, 17, lead down to six. All right. Vieira just two points away from taking a two nothing lead here. It's out. 
set point for the Hawks. And it'll be the one that's currently on fire in Sophia Jones. Jonesy for the second set. And she got that one in. Yeah, she did. Nice job. Oh, what a pancake by Jones. That's a double. Nice hustle, though, back from the service line to get up there and get that up. Right. Pierre's only got six set points to play with here. <laughs> That's it. it. <laughs> I'll take it. There and it there is. it is, set number two to the Vieira Hawks, 25-18. We'll step aside and be back with set number three here in just a second. Hey everybody, this is the part of the broadcast that most is always the most uncomfortable for me, but the Large Sports <laughs> Network <laughs> operates off limited partnership and donations from around the county from great folks like you. Nothing is too small, uh, and in trying economic times, we understand uh, if you can't give, and we certainly appreciate your support. Throughout the beginning of the third set, we'll leave our Venmo and our Cash App up there. Like we've been able to upgrade all this brand new equipment, and we've been able to do so with the help of donations. Right. And that's how we buy all this right. stuff. Very true. You know, we got four brand new iPhone 14s and two brand new iPad Airs. Right. Uh, you know, coming into basketball season. So we do all that. Uh, we don't do this all the time. Right. But, uh, again, we just upgraded. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, so, neither replenish. <laughs> right? <laughs> so all the, the Venmo will stay up on the screen for a couple of minutes, and then we'll put the cash up. And, again, thank you very much. And, again, we certainly understand if uh, you can't and appreciate you just coming on and checking Brevard Sports Network out. And we also ask to <laughs> – that you patronize the businesses that do support Brevard Sports Network. All right, we're ready to go here. Looks like the same six for Oviedo. Checking in will be Lily Kamek. And it'll be Olivia Klemus serving it up. It's going to be Paige Wisniewski along with Anna Cathcart, and up front will be Ella Mabin as well. For the Hawks, Carter, Jones, Beak, Talbot, Morgan, and Williams. <laughs> Let 
Remember, the Hawks have outscored Oviedo. Nine to two in each of the first two sets. There it is. And it's one nothing. Haley Beak, last time she was at the line, went on a 4 5 nothing run. She did. It was a great run by that young. Look at that. There's an ace. Look wow. at that. Buried it. That thing is on a rope. 11 to 2 now over the first three sets through the first, the first beginning of right. each set. That, that's how you start. Yeah, that's what you want. She could keep that thing on the ice rope like that. They're going to be in for a long night on the other side. Woo, that's in. That's a good kill. Two to one. And this is as close as they have been in a while. Right. Riley Yarborough. Is that one? I believe it is. Nice serve. Kamek. Williams, back set here. Sydney Williams, man, she swung a big arm right there. Free ball. Uh-oh, got to talk. Casey Morgan. What a dig by Beak, and that's out. And we're tied in two. Yep. This is the set. You can't let it get away. Right, exactly. Morgan. Great swing. That's a that's fingertip. Yep, off the tip. Riley O'Brien, and guess what? Oviedo's got their first lead of the day. Right. It might be early, but it's a lead. Listen, build upon it. Uh-oh. Woo! 4-2. Great serve by that young lady. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 5-2, coach. How great these need like these new iPads, right? Like we've been streaming mm -hmm. through this iPad and and this 14 here. I still got 70% battery. Right. That's an ace. Nope, got to it. Not yet. Car. Oh wow. There you go. What a save. Picked out of the net by Murs. Boy, if Vieira can fight this point off, they're gonna have to. They are fighting it too, there and they is. do. What a save. That was a defensive point if I've ever seen one. Right. Five, three. It's Casey Morgan will serve. That's in. One and done. Back to the Lions, six, three. This is the libero, Lily Kamek, to serve. That's in. And that's a 7-3. to three. Can't give one away here. out seven four
You all right? Mm -hmm. Matt Carter. Soft one there. Good Talbot, swing. Mers, Jonesy. Great volley here. Oh, wow. And it's 8 4 Rito. And their section comes to life. Was it the third set they dropped the Lakeland? Yep. Yeah, Merritt Island has dropped the third set in each of their first two playoff matches, too. That's in. It's a nice back corner find there for Sydney. Yep. Eight to five. Mallory Mers. Oh, wow. One and done again, and it's 9-5, Oviedo. Right. Nice ball placement. Oh, wow. You know, man, I know having a lead has a lot to do with it, but right, right now, a lot of flow going on in their game. Right, but also, Vieira's not swinging. They keep doing like tips, right? They're chasing Swing. everything. Yeah. All right, so that's the Venmo. There's the cash app once again. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate. That's a good timeout. Fear is doubled right. up at 10-5 at the moment. Look down at the Wayne girls. Playing a little leapfrog down there. I'm pretty sure... The uh, amount of candy that all these uh, kids have had over the last couple of days has a little something to do with the fact of why they're still so very active at Listen, 701 and Exactly. The very, very, very energized. Wonder how the guys over at V. SPN are doing. <laughs> look like they're all just kind of rested on, look like Miss Robinson's couch over there. This broadcasting's tough stuff. Right. <laughs> right. Addie Ems goes to the line. Sydney Williams. There it and is. And didn't matter. 11 5 Oviedo. Their communication's a lot better this set. It is. How about Haley yeah, Beek with, with a change-up? Yeah. I bet you that pitcher from uh, Houston last night wished he had a change-up for once. <laughs> Sophia Jones to serve. Hawks trail it 11-6. There it is. That's an ace. Ooh. 
11-8. Sophia can, Sophia can get you two or three more aces right here. You're back where you want to be. Certainly capable of doing it. 12-7, the service error gives it right back here. And this will be Jamie Kapoor. Kapoor. There it is. But Vieira's got to string them together, though. They're almost yeah. like how Vito was last match. Last Can't be set. trading two for one. Right. Not when you're down by four. Leapfrog. How about that? There you back. go. There you go. 12 9. Good no look. Feed the Mac. Right. Uh-oh. You heard, well, I heard, Mallory Murs yell, help. Help, yeah, yeah. Help. Yeah. And she immediately had it. Right. Outstanding communication. That's what it takes everybody to be bought in, everybody to be locked in on one accord yep. at, this, at this level of competition in the playoffs. The Hawks have cut the lead to two here. Oh, that. Wow. Nice block. That's blocked out. You know, we haven't had one net violation in this match. No. We have not. Oh, my God. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Matt Carter, but dug out nicely uh -oh. by O'Brien. And they're back to a five-point, four-point lead. 14-10. Morgan, Mers, Carter trying to push one back. That's a great, oh, oh wow. Wow. Sydney. Williams wow. with a save, and it drops. Wow. What a play. Wow. As Haley Beat goes to the line. Quick. Yep. I tell you what, one thing I have noticed towards the end of that second set into this set here, the setter is now set in that middle a lot more on that quick. Yeah. Right? And so far that they've gone to it, it has paid great dividends for Oviedo. The other player, uh, Ella Maven, in there, number four in the middle, quite a vertical on that young lady. Right. She didn't play in the first set and a half. Matt there Carter. But Vieira's got to string together two or three more, though. Mac just swung that arm all day there. 15-12 with Casey Morgan at the line. Fingertip. Yep. 16-12. The hardest set to always win is the one to finish them all. The one to put them away. That is the hardest it's always set the hardest to always one. win. 
Uh oh. Oh. Oh this my dude. God. <laughs> I got excited. Right. And there's two pieces in there. Two pieces of There's probably in none that. in there right now. Caleb just smelled it. It's gone. Listen. Uh-oh. Carter on the receive. Murs. Carter blocked in front. O'Brien. Jones. That's oh. out. And it's 18-12. And that'll Time be out. the second and final timeout. Yep. There they are over there giving interviews. He won't be. Yeah. Right. That's funny. What does he have as a camera? Yeah. What What is that supposed it's, to be? I think it's like it's almost like a uh, like one of the boom boxes that they walk around. With okay. <laughs> Interviewing Maggie Davis. Caleb, you want these, buddy? Yeah, oh, yeah, there you come go. on now. Hey, you're good. This is a good test for Vieira right it here. It is. It is. You don't know where they're going to be seated. You don't know who they're going to play. Yeah. You know, the six-point deficit this deep in the playoffs. What do you got? Right. How can you come back from this? You got to fight. You want to see it. You got to fight right You'd here. You love to put everybody away in three, but it doesn't always happen this time it does of not. year. Especially not this time of year. Right. Lily Kamek to serve. Out. And the timeout works. And this will be Matt Carter, and that's who you want there right, right. now. Need an ace, Mac. Need an ace. Uh oh, oh, miscommunication. And it's eighteen fourteen. The lead is two, or down to four. Right. We picked up two. Great kill. That young lady's had a great third set, number two. Yeah, she certainly has. Kylie O'Brien, the junior right. outside hitter. And to the line goes Olivia Clemus. Clemus. And that'll go wide right. Definitely. Two words if you're a Buffalo Bills fan, you hope to <laughs> still don't want to hear. Right. Similar to 28 to 3. Uh oh. Oh. Not sure what happened there, but you get an ugly one every once in a while. Miscommunication between Sidney Williams and Sophia Jones. They both went up to try and kill the ball, no one called it. Or they both called it. Yeah. And it's looking more and more like this set's going to go to the, the Lions of Oviedo. Yeah. And I wouldn't say it's concerning time yet, but you better start strong in the fourth. You got to. Because these young ladies are come out rocking and rolling. This is going to re this is going to energize them. Their crowd is half the gym tonight. Right. Beer's got to squelch this. Wow. You know, this is what I call when teams trail two sets to none. I, I, I made this remark the other night for Cypress Creek against Merritt Island. Uh -huh. This is what I call, oh, yeah, we can do this set. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, we can beat these we can guys. Do, yeah. yeah. They didn't know that before this set. Right. That time wow. they played it to their benefit. And she stayed out of the net. What great body control. Kamek. Wow, they are making every play. Not that one, though. 23-16. Coming in is their best player, Kylie O'Brien. As Sophia Jones will serve. Good serve. Uh-oh. Wow. Set point. Boy, that fell just right, didn't it? Just right. Set point. What would you think of the college football ball? Well, tell you know, me, tell me then during the break. Okay. Oh, wow. Set number three to the Oviedo Lions. 25-16. We'll be back with the start of the fourth set. All right, Coach, what would you think of uh, the first college football playoff? I know Texas wasn't in there, but I don't know that I expected them to be. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We're in the top 25, Okay. Right? All, right. All right, we're, we're well, in That there. ain't the top four. What would you think it's of the not first the college football? You player? know what? I actually like Tennessee being number one. Yeah. All right? I'm not too crazy about Clemson being at number four, though. Yeah, me either. I'm, I'm not too crazy about George it. George is going to beat Tennessee by 14 points. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. You, you I, got a little vials blood in you from somewhere. No, no, no. Not at all. Not at all. I just truly believe, like where's, I told where's every. The, where's the game? I think it's in Athens. I'm not 100% sure. We can look it up, though. We can look it up. If it's in Athens. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. They got a shot if it's in Rocky Top. Double check the sound. It's in Athens. Yeah, it's in Athens. Okay. You know, listen, at some point in time, Tennessee's going to have to play those top teams on the road. What what better way than go and beat Georgia at home? It's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. Okay. But they can do it. Well, I honestly believe the tempo at which they play at, right, uh -huh. which is one of the same things I said when Josh Heupel got the job at Tennessee. Booker's a great quarterback. Huh? He was a great quarterback, mm -hmm. although I didn't like him when he was at Oklahoma because he used to go against my Longhorns all the time. But. You know, he's he's done a good job. Right. Yeah. Who will start strong here in the fourth? Oh, wow. There you go. That's what you need. Student section back into it. Yeah. Get some energy flowing back in here. Sydney Williams to the line. One nothing Hawks. Mm. 
Great block. Down oh. the line and off of Murs. 1-1. One, one. Side out. Ball back to the Lions. Page Wisniewski to the line. What are those yellow things up there for? Supposed to control the sound, right? Uh, so not a lot of echo in here. Okay. That's out. Wow. Oh, that's in. Yeah, it went off the fingers. Okay, I missed it. And Oviedo leads it. Two to one. They led two to one in the last yep. set. Yep. Vieira. Got to stop him right here. You got to. Wisniewski with the serve. It's a good one. Oh, that's dangerous. Nice job. Wow. Three to one. There it is. Oh. Two to one. Two, two. What'd he call? Caught her over the net. Over the net. I mean, it was bound to happen. She but did a terrific job going over it three times. Gotta, I don't know about the call, though. But the thing about it, though, is Vieira's got to be able to give a great pass. Right. Right? That was two passes in a row that they didn't even give Mallory Merz a, a chance to set. No, you're right. Once again, another bad pass. Great hustle. There you go. Long. That's off the, wow, I thought it was off fingertips. And it's 3-2 Oviedo. Yep. Coach, this is heating up. It is. It's definitely heating up, buddy. We called it from the beginning. I said it could be a five-setter. There it is, 3-3. Three, three. Somebody's got to pull a separation string right now. Back and forth we go with Casey Morgan at the line. Tommy says, swing the hand and good things happen. That's true. Matt Carter. Whoa. That's a double. Yeah. 4-3, Vieira. Morgan again. Great swing. That splits Beak and Morgan, and it's 4 4. With Lily Kamek to the line. Cannot let them get away here. No, don't let them get the separation. Oh, wow. That's an ace, 5-4. Oviedo starting to feel it a little bit more. Definitely, definitely got a little more bounce in their step. There it is. That one put a dent in the floor. Listen. 5-5. Five, five. <laughs> when Matt Carter gets a hold of it, it's almost like you got to protect yourself in self-defense. Yep. Great block. Nice block. Sidney Williams. 6-5, Vieira. Big time block. Yes, it was. Oh, long. Six, six. Six all. This is Olivia Clemus. That's out. There it is. Gave it right back. It's like with the serve. I don't want it. You can have it. Right. I can't keep it in. <laughs> and this will be Mallory Murs. Close to an ace. 
Great block. And Vieira with a two point, eight six lead. And zone four. Jonesy, Talbot, set. Jonesy again, blocked again. Set beak here. Oh, wow. Audio Freckleton's in. This is Beak. There it Beak is. with the kill. There it is. 9-6. They locked up on Sophia over there. Yeah. Beak is just waiting over here. Just waiting for the opportunity. Mers with a three-point lead. Long. Nope. They played it. Free ball. Beak there again. Is. There it is. Two in a row for Haley Beak. Timeout, Oviedo. Good timeout, but the Hawks have blown it out to a 10-6 lead. There it is. Like I said, they got to get that separation, right? Fifth. Apply the pressure. Put the pressure back to Oviedo, right, to be able to get the victory and walk out of here with these two, two trophies tonight. 15 points away from a back-to-back -back regional championship. This program, Coach Wayne has this program heading in, the, in a great direction. Last year, they won a five-set thriller mm -hmm. at New Smyrna Beach. Right. In a bit of controversy. Yeah. You know? That was definitely uh, myself and Caleb called that game. Yeah. And that was a... Uh, that's definitely a good match. How did you see that controversial point? Right. You remember the controversial point last year? Right. Yeah, 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 I do. How did you see that? To be honest with you, I thought I thought it was called correctly, but, hey, being there, seeing it live, and understanding the coach's point of view, how they felt, I get how they, you know, how they could feel that it should have went their way or not. But I mean, they called it their way and then took it away. Yeah, very true. Oh. And that's a good timeout, 10 Great timeout. And I was reminded of that when they came down here. Right. And put it on Vieira 3 to nothing. They did. Who's all, who are all these? I do not know. Huh. Nice oh. kill. 10-8, coach. 10-8. Listen, Oviedo's not going away. No. At all. It literally, because with one senior on their team, right. Veer's going to be playing them for the next couple of years. Exactly. Exactly. Nice set. It's out, it's though. Out. And the lead is down to one. Uh-oh. Talbot, this will be a free ball free for Oviedo. Gives them a chance to run their offense here. There it is, 10-10. Audia Freckleton a bit shaken up. She's up, though. They're going to keep going back there. Yeah. This is Addie Ims, who's done a terrific job here. Bad pass. Yep. Set. And Oviedo has come back to take the lead. 11 to 10, trying to force that fifth and deciding set. Yeah. Listen, Vieira's got to put him away. 11 10, Oviedo on top. That was going to be out. Nice job by Audia. Set. 12 10. We may see a timeout there here. There it is. And we do. 
with a timeout on the floor. Oviedo right. has come all the way back to outscore the Hawks 7 to nothing. Yep. Back in a, just a Hello, Space Coast. Alan Slaughterzinski for the Brevard Sports Network. I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank all of you for your support of BSN and allowing us to cover your student athletes and come into your home each and every night. Give us a follow on Facebook at Brevard Sports Network, and here's the many more years of top-notch sports coverage right here in Brevard County. Thanks again. Hi, this is Michelle Rycroft with Beach Wave Volleyball Club, and you're watching Brevard Sports Network. Thanks to Coach Michelle Rodko from Beachway Volleyball Club. Merritt Island tied up in set number one. 23-23. Here it's 12-10. Oviedo on top. Set by Mers. That's Too far. 13-10. The lead is three. Wow. Wow, what a turn of events. Yeah, buddy. It's an ace, 14 to 10. They have now outscored the Hawks, nine to nothing. Man, listen, these young ladies, Oviedo said, hey, we want it just as bad as you guys want it. And the out. The and listen, Coach, Coach Darty is her. loving oh, yeah. that Vieira is just well, tipping the ball instead of hitting it. Coach, I think you are spot on. Vieira is just getting the ball over the net. Right. They are setting up play after play after play. Exactly. And executing it. It started in the last set. So like you've got Sophia to Jones, yeah. Long. Got a break there. A 10 out. 14 12 Oviedo. Nice job. There you go. Casey Morgan with the kill, and Sophia Jones has rattled off two straight, and done so, Coach, by pushing the limits on that back line there. Definitely has. That's long. Yep, it knew it would get it sooner or later. You know, the rule is, the rule of thumb is, if that serve is shoulder high or lower, play it. Right. Anything over it, let it go. This is Jamie Kapoor as Oviedo has a two-point 15-13 lead. Back set, Beak dug out nicely there. Wow. Morgan blocked. But Great dig. Beak comes flying in there. Morgan, it's a free one here. Pass, set. Blocked block. by Williams. They go after Morgan. Haley Beak, but there to dig it out. Uh oh, that's Oviedo. a double. Yeah. Gotta be. Indeed. Good cuts, coach. 15 14. Big point on that rally for the Hawks. It was. The lead is one with Williams at the line. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Matt there it Carter. Is. And we're tied at 15. Now, Vieira needs to take that momentum. They need to take that momentum and run with and it. And run. They've got to run they, with they're it. They're still not. 
Still not passing the ball. No, not great at all. I mean, Mallory Myers is running around everywhere right now. Woo! Tout and the Hawks have come back to take a 16-15 lead. I tell you what, though. Well, that number one got all she wanted that ball, though. Yes, she that did. That was a rocket. That thing flew off her right? hand, didn't it? What a dig by Talbot. This is Williams. Now it looks like Oviedo's running, wow. but Riley Yarbrough ties it up at 16. Yes, we got us is. a nail biter here. Listen. Which team wants it more? Merritt Island falls 25-23 in their first set. <laughs> Haley Beak with the kill. 17-16 Hawks. And Beak will go to the line. Here we go. We need her to put by two of them on that ice rope like she normally does. Yep. There's one. Nicely received, though. Back corner. 17, 17. And right now, Coach, Riley Yarborough, Yarborough can't miss. She cannot. And she'll go to the line. I mean, she's getting all she wants on her hit. She's locked in right now. Yep. Good serve. That's how you do it. Wow. Woo! 18-17, Vieira. Great hustle there from number three. That was a beautiful pass by Williams. Right. Great set by Mers. Wow. In. Whoa. That was in. 18 apiece. The Hawks, the Lions. Nobody giving an inch here in set number four. You're going to have to fight. Nope, that's dangerous. Uh, Haley oh, frustrated wow. with herself on that one. That's out. And it's 19-18, Vieira. Vieira needs to go on two more, needs to get two more points right this here. Is, right here is where you need, yeah, you're you right. I was just going to say right. that. You need get to the magic part. Right. 20. And you got the right person at the line to do it. And Matt Carter. Yes. She leads the team with 50 aces this year. And the Hawks lead it 20 to 18. Here we okay. go. You need Matt Carter to give you one more. They get it here and look for a timeout by Coach Darty. Set. Out. Oh. And there it is, 21 yeah. to 18. Vieira. And there is the timeout. Vieira, four points away from a regional title. They got to keep their foot on the gas, though. Got to keep their foot on the gas. Come out of this timeout with the same energy, same momentum, ready to rock and roll. That's what's at stake. Another trophy for the case. Exactly. Last two, year two it was <laughs> yeah, yeah. Last year it was the first ever state series win all the way yeah. to a regional championship. The Hawks fell short in the right. final four. This is true. This is their year. That's what everybody's saying. That's what they're saying. But you still got to go out and get it. 
Winter Haven next week, November 11th. The final four will be Saturday, I believe. That's in, oh, oh, he pointed in and then held it up. Oh, I don't know about that one. That's not a good call. He was indecisive, thought about it. I guess it happens. Do you see that? Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever seen a referee. Uh, not, point I mean, it. maybe when it's the, you know, the young ladies doing right. it, but not when it's the adults. <laughs> and they want to know. And if he doesn't know, then they need to ask or replay the point. Fair is fair. Fair is fair. If he really doesn't know right. or can, or didn't process it, then ask or replay right. the point. And if the chair saw it, he needs to make the call. Yep. They're sticking with it. They're going to stick with it. Now you got to build on it. Listen, Finish it all. That was interesting, right? How is it that Vieira, once again, is caught up with a controversial point? At the end ball. of a closing <laughs> set. <laughs> How is it? That's in. That's definitely in. They need a three-point run or this will be over. Right. Audia Freckleton checks in. Olivia Clemus at the line. She's had a good night. She has definitely had a great night. Jones. That's a net violation. 22 to 20. 20. It's the first one of the night on Vieira. Yeah. Clemens again. This has got to go. It does. But once again, coach loves that, right? Y'all are going to tip the ball all day. We love it. Oh, that's a double. 23. 22 on the attack error out of bounds. And Mallory Murs. And the Hawks are just two points away. Uh-oh. Free ball. Murs, big out, out. He's not going to overturn that. No way. Not after the, what happened right. two points ago. And Sidney Williams is going to ask. He's not going to overturn nope. it. And I think it was out anyway. I thought it was long myself. To the line goes Addy Ims, 23, 21. Freckleton, Murs, Peak, dug up, set, and it's 23, 22. One point to tie. Williams, Murph, perfect set. Jody with the big kill. There it is. And it's regional championship point. Let's go. Sophia Jones to try and win the Hawks' second consecutive regional title. Free ball.
Mers, Morgan. Back set here. That's a double. Here you go, get it. Morgan! Ah. You almost wish he would have set Mallory Mers there. I just wish he would have set Sid. Mers again. Beak! Dug out. Out. And the VL Hawks are back to back regional champs. 25 22. Matt Carter shook up. Yeah. I think she got hit with something. But the Vieira Hawks are back to back regional champs. Coach, we'll stick around for the trophy presentation. But what are your final thoughts on that one? It's good to see Vieira go through that type of fight from a great program such as Oviedo, right? It's great to see them go through their fight and be able to pull it out, right? You know, hopes and prayers are with Mac right now, hoping everything's okay with her. But, man, I tell you, to be able to see them fight and come out of that game is phenomenal. For me, Coach, I got two takeaways. One of them is going to be critical. Right. They're about to get reseeded. They can't play like they did in that third set and most of that fourth and win a state championship. Right. But I do like the fight. What's going to win Vieira a state championship is exactly what they did in that first and second set. Exactly. That state championship volleyball. It is. So we. So it was a tale of two teams there. Right. They got out of that fourth set. I would not have wanted to go to a fifth. Right. But I will not tell you this. They play like they did in those first two, and they'll be in Winter Haven. Right. Most definitely. And, and that's what you want, right? That's what you want. All right. We're going to get out of here, take some pictures, grab an interview. And uh, the Vera Hawks are regional champs. like to thank uh, the Florida High School Athletic Association and uh, Athletic Director Maggie Davis, Principal Sarah Robinson, and, of course, Coach Sarah Wayne. For DeMarcus Bennyfield and Kayla Brown, I'm Alan Slaughterzinski. For the Brevard Sports Network, once again, your final score, the Vera Hawks in four sets. 6A2, regional champs. Have a great night, everybody.